Thank you guys so much. Best Have a great lunch. Thank you. Good luck with everything. You coming to the fight Saturday? I wish I could. <laughs> what you mean? How come you can't? Tickets are low. It's $15 at Little Caesars. Yes, ma'am. Girl, all the all the high price tickets is sold out. <laughs> <laughs> but we got tickets 15, 30, 45. Come in the building. You are a doll. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. By of the course, way. thank you. I knew that my life would one day be here, you know? And I'm just happy that it's happening while I'm 28. I ain't got to wait till I'm 30 or 5 or getting out the game. I still got so many years left in boxing. And I'm just happy that uh, I'm, getting my, I'm getting my just due and that people know that what I've been saying for the past couple years isn't because I'm cocky or whatever, it's because I have truly believed in myself and I knew that I would be here. Why am I lounging? Cause it feels, I wanted to have a pajama day. I just finished eating and I had New York strip and a loaded uh, baked potato. And I don't know if it's because I know what the food is gonna be used for, like fuel to beat that ass, um, or I was just so hungry because it was so, it, it was so good. I ate all of it and I don't know how many ounces that was and the loaded baked potato. I grew up with a mother who forced us to go to church and I'm so grateful for that. I've always said I'm so grateful for her um, and, and forcing us to go to church. We would go to church like three times a week. I still had the relationship with God and I would always take all my affairs to God. Um, with the decision, even decision making this, having this fight, I prayed about it. Ask Nancy. I, last fight, uh, the first time that they hit me up for this fight before they hit up Gabriel's, they called me, I, I prayed about it. Nancy, my team was mad because I said no. Cause I, I was like, it's not the right time. I, I felt it, I felt it. And for me, that's God speaking to me and um, but this one, I remember at 3.30 in the morning, I got on my knees and I prayed and I heard the, the words saying, it's time, specifically, it's time. I got up and I sent her a message. I don't know if she still has it on her phone. Sent her a message and that's where Mark said, uh, I don't care if they offer me $5, I want this fight. It's time. And I have zero doubt in my mind that this is the perfect timing. That's why I was just like, it's not last minute at all it's everything the way it worked <laughs> it gives me chills because it's just like everything worked out so perfectly Four on the hook. There you, there you go again. There you go. As far as I'm concerned, Marcella hasn't had really a chance to really prepare for this type of fight. So I think the more pressure we apply, the easier the fight becomes for us. It does us good because we were in camp for one fighter and we've never stopped preparing. Now that we have a new fighter, we've always been on the same level. Well, this young lady, maybe she was training, stayed in shape, but she wasn't training for a world title fight. So how good can she really be in shape on such short notice? We'll find out come Saturday. So, un dos. Ooh. One, two. Cuatro. We're not here to fucking participate, buddy. We, we rob fucking banks, that's what we do. 
I'm Ronnie Duncan. I'm here at Crunch Gymnasium. This beautiful young lady I have next to me has something to say, and you are? Maricela Cornejo. And what have you been practicing? I have been practicing, and the new undisputed middleweight champion of the world. The world will see who Maricela Cornejo is that night. Maricela, congratulations. It's been a pleasure just talking to you. Thank you. God be with you. You walk out of that room the same way you walked in, okay? Absolutely. Thank right. you so Thanks much. So. But with some metal on me. That's All right. it. She That's wants it. some metal on it. <laughs>